Good morning, 7th graders. This is just a short review video of the instructions of part one of Monster Genetics. Uh, we went through it yesterday in class, but since I'm not there today, I just thought this would be a quick review to make sure that we're clear about what you're supposed to be doing today um, and what the expectations are for you to get completed. And then um, if there's any questions, you can always refer back to this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the doc that you're going to be completing. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let me turn on the projector. Whoa! Whoa, there's two of me. Oh, there's three of me. Ooh, you can almost see four of me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Okay. So, all the materials are in the back of the room except the coins. The coins are up front with the substitute. So when you ask, uh, send someone up to ask for a pe uh, for one of the coins to get your penny to flip. Remember what I said yesterday? You do not get to um, re-flip things in case you don't get the traits that you want. You just have to go with what you get. It is probability and chance, and so you just have what you have. Your goal today is to fill out Table one for parent one, getting the genotypes and phenotypes in. And then table two, genotypes and phenotypes, okay, for parent two. After that, the goal is to make your monsters. So let me review real quick how to do the chart, and then uh, we'll move on from there. So excuse me, where's my coin? Oh, there it is. All right, so remember, like what it says at the top, Heads represents what the allele is in column one, tails, allele two. Okay, so column allele one, column allele two. And so you flipped your coin twice because there's two allele pairs. So I got this time a tail. So that's allele two. So that's an E. Lowercase, the recessive trait. Flip it again. Another tail. We got two recessive traits. Ooh, so that means my genotype is one large I. Cool. So I'm going to have the cyclops for this one. All okay. right. Now I do eye color, and it tells you incomplete. Remember, I will tell you if it's incomplete or codominant. If it doesn't say one of these, assume that it is just regular complete dominance. So you still have to flip twice. Tails, which is the recessive. Heads would get me the blend. And it's heads! So I get the heterozygous. And since it's incomplete with heterozygous, that means it's a blend. So the blend between red and white is pink. Oh, well, not eyes. He only has one. He's going to have one large pink eye. And you're going to do that for the rest of the chart. And then you repeat that process again for parent number two. Okay, after that, the back counter, not only are there the markers and colored pencils, there are half sheets of paper. The reason that there are half sheets, because if the monsters are really big, we're never going to fit them onto our final project board at the end, where you put in like kind of like the family tree, where you have all your monsters and all your punted squares and all your tables and stuff. It all needs to fit on a poster board. So the monsters can't get too big. So this is the maximum size they need to be. If you make them smaller there, like you only use half of this uh, for the paper, that's fine too. Okay, But it can't be bigger than this. Remember what I said in class yesterday. There are two of you in the group, so that means each person needs to draw one of the monsters. It cannot be left for one person to do both monsters. If by chance you get done with all of that, and there's still some time remaining in class, you will also see in the back counter half sheets that have punted squares on them. One of the half sheets have the first six of these traits. First six of these traits. Okay. The other half sheet starts here with feet and has the last five traits. And there are punted squares on these. The punted squares are there. 
for you to do your cross between the two, for you to do the cross between the two parents. Okay, so you'd put the allele pair for pair P1 across the top, the allele pair for P2 across the bottom, and then you would do the cross and you'd tell me the genotype and phenotype percentages. You don't know what the monsters are going to be yet, the baby monsters are going to look like. These are just the percentage chance of the traits that they're going to have based off of genotypes and phenotype percentages. Okay. At the end of class, at the end of class, you need to make sure that you take your drawings with you and they need to come back tomorrow. So you can't lose them, they can't get destroyed, otherwise you're going to have to start over and you will be behind. And You don't want to be behind on this because then you're going to end up having to do stuff outside of class. The only other thing I'm going to remind you of is on these charts, if you decide for just one person to put in the information on their charts, that's fine. But then you need to make sure that you share it, okay? Make sure you share it with um, your partner. Because if you're not here tomorrow or one of the days this week and your partner cannot get to the information and can't do anything, then you guys lose a whole day of work and you're going to be a whole day behind. And that's going to be a lot of work to catch up. Mrs. Stahl, please call 114. Mrs. Stahl, please call 114. Ah, just like in class. Okay. Get to work. Make sure you're staying on task. Enjoy the process. This is pretty fun, but make sure you're staying on task, too. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll be back. Bye.